Okay, continuing with the Blender Sequence Editor, it's a little editor for doing short little video clips. It's not really designed to do, produce a whole movie, although you probably could if you really wanted to, but there's better programs out there for editing full videos. But uh, if Blender's all you got, or you just really like it, I'm going to show you a little more on how to work with it. Once again, these lighter green colors are our audio files, and if we uh, go to our very first frame, you can hit shift and down arrow will jump you to the first frame in your project and then we can hit alt a to play and space to stop you'll notice that the audio comes in real hard there let's say we want it to fade it in just like our video fades in well the way we can do that is uh, by the way I'm center clicking and dragging around to move around my timeline like that and scrolling in and out zooms in and out so we want to fade the audio from here to here. And the way we do that, up here in the left-hand corner, we have our uh, IPO editor, which is for editing keyframes. And you'll see the green line in there matches where our green line is in our timeline down here. So we have our green line right here. So let's put our mouse right here at one. You see the one off to the side here. And we have just the audio clip selected here. We're going to uh, control and left click on your mouse and that set a keyframe right there next we can go down here to uh, 0 uh, right here is our beginning of our timeline and 0 here which is the strength of the audio and we can put our cursor right there and shift or I'm sorry control left click again and you see we have this nice little uh, curve line here uh, we can use our center mouse to scroll in and center click to drag around again if we would like. If you want to make this bigger, any of these windows, if you want to see them, uh, you can, sh uh, I'm sorry, control up makes it full screen and control down puts it back where it was. So if you wanted to see our video clip, we put the cursor over here, up, down, timeline, up, down. So that's just control up and down just thought I'd mention that. Anyway, we've already created our little fade in for our audio here. So if we shift down to get to the beginning of our timeline and Alt A to play, our, fade, our audio fades in nicely instead of hitting abrupt. And we can do the same thing at the end of our timeline right here. Thanks with open source tools. The audio just kind of cuts out. So let's put our cursor there and we can see where we are in the timeline there. I am going to uh, control left click there and then I will go to where the end of our timeline is the audio file right there and I will control click there so now with open source tools hmm didn't seem to fade out oh I had the wrong audio file selected not a big deal we don't even need to change that because that audio file doesn't go to there we will click on this audio file now Yes, be sure you have the clip selected that you want to edit. Uh, and we will control left click here, move to the end of that file, that clip, and control click here. Now we will all play. I like, I'm glad, you know, it makes me feel stupid a little bit, but I'm glad I come across mistakes like that when I'm doing tutorials so you don't have to come across that mistake and be like, what's going on? So anyway, Alt A, our audio fades out. So that's great right there. Another thing I want to go over today, I'm going to click uh, this video clip. I don't need necessarily need the audio, I'm just going to do the video. So I'm just clicking that, and I'm going to Shift D, as I've mentioned in the past, will clone something, and I'll move that to here. So here we go, we have one video and it cuts to the other video. And uh, we can do layer effects. There's a few built into Blender. Um, and uh, if you've ever worked with some some video editing programs and, or if you've worked with GIMP you know that you can add layer effects and that's how uh, images that are on top of each other blend together what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this top layer and then shift click this bottom layer video hit space and I can do add, subtract, multiply or alpha over I'll do a uh, uh, add so now you can see I have the I can move the, the red up and down that's that is our effect right there and you can just put that somewhere just so you know that effect is there um, and that's all that really tells you right there but you'll see 
the videos are kind of overlaid each other right now kind of a screening effect with the ad um, we can right click and delete that if you try to only select one video depending on what effect you're adding like if I do subtract it's telling you need to select two sequence strips so make sure you select the two that you want to blend and we'll do subtract which is kind of the opposite of add it kind of makes everything darker kind of gives you a negative on the bottom video there delete that click on both of them multiply which kind of gives you it's more like add but it's the opposite making things darker so those are a few little layer effects you can add to videos um, that's it for this tutorial filmsbychris.com for more tutorials like this the link is in the description please feel free to comment and rate this video